All right, hello YouTube. Um, this is my CTC 3D printer, and I'm taking a crappy video on the iPhone, but I just wanted to show you. You can see there, I took my extruder out with the two screws that go in the bottom, pulled it all the way out, and you see here, I still have the left side on, so you can see the right side, but you see I took the right side uh, block off, uh, the thermocoupler wire right there, that's the heater and then I, I wanted to answer the question that if your dual extruders are out how do you readjust them because if you look right here see that set screw if you loosen that set screw you can actually screw this in and out and change the height of the two heads when they line up and that's uh, directly behind the fan when you take those two screws out and then that set screws right there but you see I took it apart because I had a jam up and you can see the filament down there on the wheel and then I have the other piece right there actually I'm gonna take that apart there's a little wheel inside that too if you can see right to the left there so they're pretty simple to take apart and because it's a dual extruder you can use the left side to put you know the right side back together and vice versa but I just want to show everybody that little set screw right there for changing the height of that tube so that you can line up your dual extruders. And then you see over here, I actually have the heat block and I put new Kapton tape on it with some gauze. So I'm going to put that all back together and see if it stops doing this. If you look at that part, you see how skippy it is and pieces missing, it's not very smooth. But then if I look at one I did a few weeks ago, here's one here, that's a thousand times better. So, put it all back together and uh, if I have any problems or anything, I'll make another video for you guys. But I just wanted to show you that so that you could see the set screw and then how to take it apart. Um, so you can actually clean out this filament guide. Um, Alright, thanks for watching. And if I have any problems, more videos to come.